Dude, I'm looking at the old podcast we filmed with you back on in March 2021. It's a year and a half has gone by, and you look like a you look like you've aged, man. Yeah, I was a kid back then, and now I'm now I'm a husk. Were you were you under 18 when we did that podcast? I think I was. When when was it? March 2021. Yes, yeah, so I would have been 17. Okay, wow. cool. So this is a now minor. the R-rated Tommy in it podcast. Yeah, that we're gonna be doing today. Let's we're gonna be talk swearing about more. boobs, breasts, <laughs> boobs, breasts. V- uh, Vagunas, v- Vaganas, Vagunas little bit the of, hymen, little bit of cock, the hoo-haws, the hee the vulva, the vulva, <laughs> the, vulva. the vulva, the labia, uh, ovaries, the right labia, ovaries, womb, the lower labia, childbirth, Birth. the beauty of life, yeah. um, and coming, <laughs> most importantly, <laughs> coming hard, fast. Tommy's gonna be shooting big loads across I'm the gonna podcast be coming. studio. This is the come episode, all right? It, we're, instead of the uh, the three, instead of the two things from Dr. Seuss, we're going to be come one, come two, and come three. What the fuck? Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. What? We got Tommy in it on. First of all, I agree with Schlapp about the shirt. You're looking about five steps away from the jail cell. Doesn't I, doesn't he look like a cool art teacher that like takes calls okay, during I'll class? Take that. I'll take cool art teacher. Yeah, but then the kids don't even really respect you. They just take it. They're just like, yeah, oh, Ted's Ted's going to take another call <laughs> and we can dick around again. Yeah, and, and you know that they don't respect me when they call me by my first name, too. They're calling me Ted. Yeah. And they're not calling me Mr. Nivison. They're calling me Ted. And there's that one kid in the class that's like, I just can't get a break from. Like, he's coming in. And it probably would be someone similar to you, Shalat. Yeah. There was a teacher at my PE school, at my school, who taught PE. And he'd stand outside and all the girls would take turns going up to flirt with him. What? And then one time he came in with a black eye. Oh. Then a week later, and then he never came in again. That's what you'd be, Ted. <laughs> what did he do? Why did he never show up again? No one knows. No, no, no one, one knows. knows. I he bet a couple with people know. <laughs> <laughs> you he think I'd be the, the teacher eye? that would come in with the black eye? Yeah. I feel like I'd be more the teacher that's like happy-go-lucky for so long until that, that, that one-class clown makes me snap. Then you get the belt. Yeah. Yeah, or like <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to keep my cool, and then I just start screaming at the kid, and the whole set, class goes dead silent. And then I'm like, I, and then I get suspended. I get like, I like no, my school, administrative leave. You had to call leave. the teacher, sir. Did you have to do that? No. You had to call your teacher, sir? Yeah. And ma'am? Right, sir. Uh, no, miss. Miss. Oh. All right, miss. Would you, you have right, to sir? bow when you entered the class, too? What is this shit? No, you go, you're all right, sir. You sir. Yes. Jesus. Yep. No, yeah. we'd say, we'd say Mr. Blank, whatever their name was, you know? <laughs> yeah. If they were cool, it would, there was first names. Yeah, you call oh first names. Yeah, well, if the, if there was, we said that we get hit. Why is there a huge tiger behind you? He's my boy. I got him on Etsy. Tommy, didn't you Etsy. buy me this tiger on oh, my first yeah. stream? <laughs> 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 he's so fucking rich, he doesn't even know what he's buying. Yeah, that fucking three thousand oh, dollar ceramic yeah. fucking life size tiger, uh, dude. It was so Just bizarre. Just a drop in the bucket. It was so bizarre. That that Etsy purchase was so strange because uh, it, it, they didn't deliver it via the post office or anything like that. It was just, I got a call literally at the dead of night. I was at the office at like 9 p.m. I got a call and it was just a guy and he's like, I'm bringing the tiger over. Dude, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and, and I'm like... Okay. Which one? Okay. Really? <laughs> When's he coming? Really? When, then when you grab your handgun. Yeah. And 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 like an hour later, I get it. There's a knock on the office door, and I open it. Like 10 p.m. Pitch blackout, and it's just a guy in a pickup truck with a yeah. with with the tiger just wrapped in layers and layers and layers of bubble wrap, and That's he crazy. he unloads the thing, and he's like. This thing is so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> like it, this is the coolest tiger ever. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome, bro. And you just okay, happened to find the Put your dick fi- away. You just yeah. happened to find the one delivery driver within like the tiger fan niche. Dude, he is kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you. You see this is guy? Really awesome. He's fucking awesome. 
and his debut was so good on your first stream back where you know you had connor I, i'll never forget seeing connor mount that thing and wear the Ooh, rat mask yeah that was yeah. such a funny moment oh my god for audio listeners love you, love to, you death. to death Ooh, thank well, you. i got there first i, I, there. I mean as long as it's stroking when i was in new york ted every day i get up and i'd walk through central park and i'd listen to chuckle sandwich and really really i just don't think you'd update these audio listeners a lot all right because i'd sit there on spotify it Walking through, and I would have had no idea that Schle audio listeners Schle has put down the tiger. Yeah. Okay. So you got to understand. I'm just, I'm just raising a point for the you other gotta people. You got to understand. Okay. Audio There's a certain level of involvement you, right? that I need to add there. If I'm doing it all the time, then it's like it just becomes like I'm a text. Audio to, listeners. Like, I'm a text to speech thing for blind Ed's people. His face is getting a little, you know. Swirly, hey, audio it? listeners love you to death. Schlatt's doing a fucking crazy magic trick. I, uh, yeah, no, yeah. you're doing yeah, it again. No, you're doing it again. His hand. <laughs> you, um, welcome you're doing everybody. It again. They're going to be confused again now. Tommy, oh, I got to introduce listeners. you. Come on, man. I'm so sorry. I got to introduce you. I'd rather die. You'd rather die than be introduced? The, yeah. So let's not introduce him. Time? Let's not introduce okay. him, Ted. Audio, yeah. audio listeners, I've always okay, been Okay, fine. Here. We will not introduce and not let Tommy in it on the Chuckle Sandwich podcast be perceived today. Um, but how you doing? What's going Tommy? on there? I mean, What's going on there? He's fucking deep throating that water bottle. No, 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 no. Audio listeners, there was something on the water bottle. Audio listeners, he took a big this swig. Is a complete lie. Big swig <laughs> of, of of a water bottle that had some audio, kind of audio decal on it. Audio listeners, trust me. Audio listeners, Tommy is going to now pull the water bottle back up so we can all see it. Yeah, he's going to do it for the content because we want to have a good episode, don't we, Tommy? We want to have a good episode. You want to be funny on this episode. Don't shake. Don't shake. Don't be scared. Sounds, Sounds gay. gay I'm, I'm in is, okay. is what Tommy and it is drinking out of. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm with it. Mm -hmm. So you said you were listening <sighs> to the podcast while walking through Central Park. You did this whole New York thing and I was the extremely anticlimactic ending to it he, he was the no no don't say that you were the golden goose no 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 Schlatt Schlatt the time, out, time, goose. Out, time out that was the brown goose let me tell you let me tell you something i the i thought i was goose. honored tommy i was honored to be the no, finale no. of your vlog series but when when the competition is meeting mr beast it's just you know like I, i've almost felt bad for you <laughs> I met Mr. Beast a week before meeting you, and he was, you know, fine. He was no you. Yeah. He yeah. was worse than me. Do you want to hear about how I met Mr. Beast? Yeah, yeah what's sure. your least favorite so, thing about Jimmy? So he texts me, his hollowness. So he texts me going, hey, want to hang out? And I go, yeah, sure, where are you? And he goes, I'm at the American Dream Mall, which is doing like a soft burger, burger opening. And I go, yeah, cool. And so I Uber over. And I, and I get out. And then the security guy meets me and goes, follow me. And he takes me through the fucking back rooms of this mall, the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. And I'm walking around it. And I'm walking. And he just opens a door. And there's just thousands of people stood there. And they all start screaming at me. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. Where the fuck am I? And he, and he barges through all these people. And I'm like, what? What? to get to Mr. Beast, who sat in the, in the back rooms of this mall, like... Enough throne made of children's and bones th and he's done 13, 13 <laughs> hours of meet and greet that day and he's just oh sat there and there's like a horde of people like mr beaston is just he just has like cronies with him and it's me and him and he goes hey tommy wow. it'll milk me for views and i go what the <laughs> hi mr beast and then i go outside with car registered just changed from what he normally I, talks like i shit you not it was literally like the you know the hunger games mm. it's me and carl and sapnap and then there's security off, and then there's this, like, chariot of just people. And this was when you realize it's starting to get a bit weird. Because yeah. you got this meet and greet line, and I, I'm not an American, but I feel like people think Mr. Beast is, like, the coming of Jesus too. He's Jesus too, Because right. there was, like, a, like, an entire family and, like, their toddler being like, Mr. Beast, give me money, Mr. Beast. And you're like, what? It was it was like the parents weird. the parents were begging for money too? Yeah, with their See, entire family and like babies. And I was like, oh my god. What the f Mr. It's, Beast. Yeah. I mean, it it's it's like crazy seeing like just seeing all the videos from that event. I mean, was it 
what, were, what, what are we talking in terms of decibels? Like, how loud was that mall? It was just loud. Yeah. It was so loud. You get out of there and it's like a grenade went off in modern warfare. Like you're, you're it was so weird. Ringing. There oh, were a lot man. of people. How many people showed up to the mall? It was, I think when I got there, there were like 2,000, but earlier in the day, there'd been like 8,000. And Mr. Beast was just meeting these guys all day? Yeah, he just had opened a, a burger restaurant. <laughs> and it, it, at the end of the day, so you walk into the, this back room that Mr. Beast is, and, he, and he's just sitting slumped over, and he goes, milk me. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you make some TikToks with him or something? Like he was in yeah, a giving I mean, mode. I- I made a YouTube short and a, and a tweet, but it was oh. like, you know, I've ne- never, never in my, do you know how, and given like an hour earlier, I'd been in the New Jersey, <laughs> I've been in the New Jersey Applebee's, all right? And I felt terrible. The there's New Jersey one. Applebee's. There's only one, Schlatt, remember, there's <laughs> the only one. Applebee's, one. Applebee's in New Jersey, yeah. Then, and then I went to the New Jersey Walmart. <laughs> then I went to There's Mr. one of each Mr. store in every state that we have. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. And then okay. I went to the American, the Mr. Beast Mall. And it was, I was so shocked, everyone. <sighs> There's two of us on the call, Tommy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong with that wording. I mean, I guess he, it is correct. I mean, what are your listeners? I'm thinking about you. It's a bit, it, it is a bit of him. a culture shock, isn't it? Because you're not, I mean, mm. I think, I think people in the UK Everything are generally, big. generally uh, smaller and less. In your face Smaller, about things, well, smarter, right? dude. Have you better. seen some of the meet and greets that KSI has done though? I've seen some videos of those, and he the people get it's crazy. People are like for Mr. Beast in America as they are for KSI in the UK. So I get when I was at this Mr. Beast place, yeah, I get recognized quite a lot, and it's really weird. So I think I, all day listeners, I'm doing a diagram with my hands. I see it as you kind of have these two sort of lines, right? And you have people that are really like, like obviously watch my stuff and want to recognize me. And I'm like, hi, you know, and it's great. And you have people who don't really know me. Maybe their mates, mates, sister do, but they know that like, you know, who I am on the internet and they want to recognize mm. me to take the piss out of me. And like the dickheads, right? Like today right. I was walking around and I just heard someone, someone shouted at me, yes, Tommy in it, top G. And I was like, from, it was like a fucking <laughs> NPC interaction. And I, I never <laughs> saw them in the eye. I just heard the dialogue line twice. Did you, like did I was you going into my, yeah, I did. I was going in. I was like near a car park, so it was echoey, and I just heard it. And I was like, "What the? F- I, 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 I wish I had a gun." <laughs> it's like the characters in GTA. You walk by, and yeah, they're like, literally, and they're just they don't even look at you. They're just like, "Fuck you, asshole!" <laughs> <laughs> and so when I was in this area, right? So you have the people who don't, you know, really like. I really appreciate. I really want to recognize, and the people who are just taking the piss. But the thing I know, this like slider is still the same. You know, you have people in the middle who are really nice. But the way that they are in Britain and America is completely different. So British people, when they're recognizing me and take the piss out of me, they're kind of really in my face. They're like, put their arms around me. They're like showing that they're boss of me. And it's like taking loads of photos. But the Americans are the complete opposite. And I know this from the New Jersey Walmart experience. They're like... We're doing a TikTok, Tommy. And just start doing like a TikTok sound in my face. And they're like, be in my vlog. And it's like, it's like the complete, it was so weird. So let me get this straight. They're Did both I in your well? face. I feel, in, felt they're both in your there. face in two different ways, but one is more like a, I'm going to have a conversation with you, and the other is on the American side is I'm going to commodify this yeah. interaction. The Americans that I'm are like, how you. can I, how can I make money? And the British are like, how can right. I ruin? <laughs> yeah, I love England. Wow. Why do you want to leave? Jeez. I don't. I'm here. Awkward thing to say. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Don't well, you want to get out of there, though? I mean, no, think about that. The I love clouds. it. Yeah. So I, I, I met Tommy, and he took me back to his raggedy ass apartment. His lair. That smelled of egg and like had weeks old milk in it. And he's like, Airbnb. I really like it here. Tommy's like, I really like New York City. I really just like everybody around. And I'm watching his <laughs> vlog series, and everyone, like, there's, there are people who would like would would uh, what what was the dude you were dressed as spider-man did this even make it into the cut do you want to talk about that tommy (laughs) the guy Uh, i'm so impressed by the way tommy with how you managed to do that over seven days i mean i had heard that you were pretty fast at the end of it 14 14 sorry double what i i yeah i knew that initially but um because i've i've done a video in public man on the street stuff in new york i did that new york 
city milkman video that I did. Yeah. And doing that for one day, I was like, man, I'm not going to do this again for the next year and a half. Because it's, it it's two weeks straight. Fucking hell. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. I'm sure that people well, are interested. Like this was the week. So I noticed when I dressed as Spider Man for one of the days, you kind of attract the crazy people because mm. everyone in New York knows Spider Man. <laughs> everyone <laughs> wants have... to meet Spider Man, I guess. Everybody you know? knows. And I was this like derpy. Top five rules Spider-Man. of New York. Number one, everybody knows Spider Man. Everybody in New York, they see you. They're Spider Man. I was like this really derpy ass like looking Spider Man. I need to think perfectly how to phrase this. I had the worst ever trauma dump of my life. And it was by a man. Uh, and I was dressed in a full Spider-Man outfit. And he, he wasn't in the final video. You couldn't see. But this crazy man came up to me. And at first he was really funny. And he was like, going like oh, yeah, shithead. It was really good content. Oh, and then we sort of stopped start. filming and we're like, you know, like, hey, you could put that in the video. And my mate, like, Ash and I were over there. And he, like, grabbed my arm and was like, I'm not... I'm worried how much of a joke this is going to be delivered as or not. And he grabbed me by the arm and he looked at me and went, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is the worst thing that's ever happened. To when, you, <laughs> the worst thing that's ever happened, period? He was like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is going to land or not. I'm, okay, I'm going to go for it. I killed 65 people in Vietnam. <laughs> and then he grabbed my arm and then he went, and a snake came down from the trees and I chopped the snake in half. Have you ever had snake's blood on your kid? No, sir. No, I haven't. Have you ever had snake's blood? And he was like, I don't do therapy, man. It's the dogs. You ever and I'm had like, snake's Please, blood I'm... running down your chin as you lick I'm it up like, in the like, forest yeah. of Vietnam. I was like, and he was looking me dead in the eyes with these crazy eyes. And then right as he was getting towards the end of his sentence, he like, just like here, you know, not like my ass, not anywhere problematic, but like here. He ever so slightly grabbed it and went, and I like boys too. And I went, no, 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 no. <laughs> And I fucking had to sit down for like 20 minutes. And bearing in mind this whole interaction, crazy New York old guy, and I'm dressed in a full Spider-Man suit. And I'm just sat like, where are I need, where am I? You're in the Big what Apple, the baby. What is going on? Don't you love New York? Apple, baby. It was terrifying. And I was like, how? And now, to give it into context, and we kept joking about this, it's a week before Mr. Beast is doing this, like, $1 versus $1, $10 million hotels video. And after we met him, he was like, oh, yeah, do you want to be in it? We can go on this private jet and, like, fly over to there. And I went, no. No, Mr. Beast, I'm I'm going to go <laughs> dress up as Spider-Man. <laughs> and have him, oh, my God. Did you get up every morning and do that? I have something better to do, Mr. Beast. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Beast. I need to get. I need to go get hit on Enough in the milking streets for of today. New York in my skin tight <laughs> Spider Man costume. Did you get up every morning and just do that deep sigh that most men do when they get up and they have to tackle the day they don't really want to tackle? You know, you just kind of sit up on it was the side a, of the yeah. bed, <sighs> stare at it the was... floor. I think that's the first work I've ever done in my life. It was like, um, I would not do that again. Why? But it, it was it was really ever? fun. You, you could you, you can see ever? me go progressively insane over two weeks. <laughs> like you can just like it's each like the first bit. I'm like, we're gonna meet my hero Schlatt, and I have all these tasks to do. And by the end of it, I'm like, I wanna go. I need to leave. <laughs> I gotta go. What I gotta just. You... Who even is Schlatt? So if you were to like go back in time to prior to starting the project. If you were had a, like a chance to replan it again, like what would you change about what you that whole project? Um, I think I would have made it a lot more relaxed. I wouldn't have made it so like formatted. I would have had a lot more sort of people involved with each one. I wouldn't have made it all in New York. I think a lot of it was inspired by my mate Ryan had just done like a similar series that looked yeah. really fun to do, and I was like, I can put my spin on it. Uh, you're think- talking about Ryan Tran's Penny Challenge. Yeah, yeah. But I think a lot of the elements from that I took didn't, like, work as well. I don't know. I think my strength is just being able to be funny for a few hours and make memes and do stuff like that. And I think, right. like, a an endurance challenge of how many videos can I make isn't really suited for me. But it's weird. I'm, like, as much as it sucked, I'm, like, really glad I did it because it's really, you know, showing me how much I, like, like streaming and, like, making videos and being at home and, like, England and being with my friends. Like, taking yeah. it away 
I've came back and I, like everything's felt so much more colourful and how, and I'm like so excited to make videos and tweet and like enjoy these. I like really, you know, it sort of reinvigorated me. You so. landed, you landed off the plane and you just breathed in that London fog and you said, "Man, oh, it's good to I be was, back." I was cold. <laughs> like I came home and I was like, "I'm cold. I have to wear a hoodie. This is amazing." I was so happy. I was, Could you see yourself in America? Like if you didn't have to wake up every morning and do the. 10 hour shoots and an annoying ass challenge that you set yourself up for. Could you see yourself coming back and actually enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. I could really imagine enjoying Like, I, I don't think Texas is for me and the sort of the big, I really like being able to walk places. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I value that lots. I could totally imagine living in Manhattan, like having like sort of when I hung out with Casey, sort of the area he was in downtown was really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I don't New know York though. Is it's really very... one of the only places that I feel like has that walkability. Like when and I was all of England. Yeah, in the period that I lived. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, you guys got <laughs> no, all that. Okay. You guys got all those old buildings. <laughs> you guys got fucking like villages, and you didn't. Know, I don't even know if you guys have trains over there. Who knows? Um, we have. They like invented those things, bro. That was the <laughs> lamest <laughs> diss. You're the what world's you worst teacher, Ted. America and shit. America made trains. Cars, probably bikes. Goon? I think the Wright brothers Goon? invented the bike and then the plane. We made hamburger and gun. <laughs> we, we made hamburger. We made gun. We made we made war. Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> hamburger with with wheel. We call that train. Philly cheesesteak. We invented democracy. Um, um, yeah. No, I mean New York. New York is great, though. You must have. Did you did you have a, did your phone like track your like steps like were you walk I bet you were walking a shit ton. What are we yeah. talking like twenty k steps. You want, I I haven't checked. How do I check? Yeah, what steps. Type of you have? iPhone. Yeah. Um, you I turned that shit off. I turned all that shit off. You turned off the ability to track <clears throat> your steps. My that's iPhone just, is not tracking me. Period. <laughs> it but that's just like no. I hate the that's government. just the movement no. of the phone. That's no. The, I turned it off. That. I turned it off. I don't even have location services. I can barely use maps. <laughs> I, have to, I, I have to pull up I... the map and I have to like figure out, oh, I kind of know this street. I got a paper map. <laughs> Dude, it's just like, <laughs> you're like one of the fucking old, you're, you're, you'd be wearing this shirt uh, with a yeah. family road trip, pulling that out, the, the wife's on the shirt, and you're like, and he's like, I know where we're going. I got a pencil Bruh. between my teeth. Yeah, where are we going? In March 2018, I took 8,300 steps. Wow. That was all of March. Not to brag, <laughs> <laughs> but I did. Uh, no, Tommy, you, he's probably like me, Ted. He doesn't enable all the all the tracking. I hate the government. Yeah, no one should ever. Tra you know, I, I. Do you know what Snap Maps is? It's terrifying. Oh, dude, I they have that shit on by default. I remember. Yeah. I remember when I figured out that they they added location to every Snap. You post, and I was like, whoa, dude, that's it's fucked up. It's terrifying. That's fucked yeah, up. seriously. I turned yeah, that off. Yeah, I, I was very inspired by my, my good friend Dream to make a Snapchat, and I made mm. it, and it just had my, like, address on, and I went, Snapchat. Dream yes. inspired you to use Snapchat? Was he just using oh, the yeah. chat function? Well, you've seen how, you know, you've seen. Does he post stories now? Yeah, he does. Yeah. They are, oh, you know. Huh. That. Well, well, I just I just haven't been what, keeping up with them. I don't think really. Yeah, really. I think Dream really? looks like a pretty average dude. I think uh, I think it's a bit pretty silly handsome. seeing all the all the shots people have taken at him because he's very clearly just like dude. Yeah, a decent looking guy. That's what I was thinking too. I think maybe coming the, from you, I think you know? maybe the the problem the problem might have been <laughs> very I can handsome. See how, man. I can see how it happened because I feel like Dream's got a lot of people. Dream's already got a lot of people that just want him to fail, I think, because of whatever controversies. People I hate know. Dream? Yeah. So I am I know this might sound like a lot, Tommy, and I, and I hate to be the first Wait, person to break why? this to you, but, you know, Dream's got some haters. That's all I got to say. Um, but I think maybe that whole thing of, like, people posting the FaceTimes with him and stuff, like, leading up to that point, I think the no matter what he was going to look like, I think people were going to try to rag on him no matter what. But I was looking at the at the video of the guy, and I was thinking to myself, okay, so if this dude is like, got all these problems with his looks, like 
I must have something going on because he looks fine. He looks completely fine. He is just, he's like, he's a, he's a good looking guy. Like yeah. I, I, have, I have no idea, you know, it was, I don't know. It, it was, it was very, I mean that, I hope he's got, he's probably got thick skin at this point. I'm sure. Mm. You know, you say dick thick, skin. So. <laughs> he and listen, Ted. He has one hell of a foreskin. I feel like he's circumcised. <laughs> it's, his foreskin is <laughs> weird. No, actually, I'm sorry. This was just a Dream, misunderstanding. No, no, that's wrong with it. Dream actually sent me. The careful, I'm gonna go careful in the mail in the post. Yeah, in a when glass I, box in a closet yeah. in Tommy's apartment. He has a pedestal. I have his. <laughs> with lights on it. I have my dream U2s. It's like my dream merch. Holy music and my dream ambiently foreskin. playing in the background. It's Dream's foreskin right in the middle under a halo of light. It's like the armor stand from Minecraft with just a little thing <laughs> taped, yeah, yeah. taped to the crotch. Yeah. Uh, it's, and, it's, it's, and it's got that sort of uh, uh, iridescent glow too, like <laughs> Enchanted. I wear it sometimes too. I... <laughs> What what uh goes, please what's an enchantment you could give your cock that would work? <laughs> Sharpness. Sharp. Bane yeah. of Bane of Arthropods. Unbreaking three. Mending. Oh, mending. Yeah, True. dude. Yeah. Mm. Hold on. Let me get Infinity. through the let me get through the I, list all this cock talk. I need a way. Power In three. I uh, once Shall just I pull, hear that I one I just pulled, pulled out. Infinity. Infinity? Infinity? What does that mean? Yeah. Like you come me, you come infinitely? Please wait exactly. for me. Exactly. Exactly. You come infinitely. Let's see what else we got on this list. List of enchantments. Blast protection. Blast protection. True. Well, that's important. You know, honestly, that might be something that you would want the receiver to have more so than the actual user of the cock. Yeah. You'd want blast protection. Yeah. Um oh, are there. Dude, easy. Thorns, dude. That's like you know what that. That's like the. Uh, that's the. That's teeth. That's the male. Yeah, it's the male side of teeth right yeah, there. Yeah, bro. There's protection, which makes sense. We need a. We need a teeth too. Yeah. Uh, teeth versus thorns, dude. <laughs> impaling. <should> yeah. <laughs> impaling. Um, multi shot knockback, dude. Dude, all of these work. All of these work. This is jokes. awesome. This is fucking awesome. Punch. Oh. Power. Punch. Quick charge. Quick charge. Quick charge. That one's, I mean, that one's maybe the, you know, that one might not be as impressive in the bedroom as you probably yeah, think no, it is. You know, true. once you get the quick charge, then um, what else is there? Lore. I mean, I'm trying to think about, what is it? Lore. Lore. Luck of the sea. Fuck, man. That's incredible. <laughs> That's like, uh, that's when you have sex underwater. Yeah. Luck of the sea. Uh, what else we got? I mean, I'm trying to like, what are the weird ones? Like, what are the ones that are, go on tools that people don't really use? I think often? we got, I think we got all of them. To oh, be honest. No, dude. I'm looking at the whole the list. Biggest one of all. Slack. What'd I forget? The biggest one of all. What'd I forget? Silk touch. Oh, silk touch. Come now on, that's, man. that's the enchantment for the romance. True. That is true. I've had terrible acid reflux the past couple of days. What are I'm you having doing? I'm having trouble swallowing. You're having trouble swallowing? Yeah. And a bunch of pressure builds up in my chest and esophagus. Yeah. yeah. That fucking sucks. I hate when that happens. Have you been like eating? Because there's usually when I get it, it's like from shit I've been eating. Like when I've been ordering a too many fucking Jack in the box. Nothing, nothing hey! I can see. Hey, yeah. there hey. he is. There he is. But yeah, yeah, I felt like I was going to vomit last night because mm. I was just, you know, I could having trouble swallowing. And it felt like right. when I swallowed, it wouldn't actually go down, even though I felt the sensation of swallowing and it would stay in my throat. And I'd be like, <laughs> try drinking soda and I could barely swallow it, you know, because I was having trouble yeah. swallowing. That, is it is it kind of similar to when you like try to swallow a pill and then it doesn't fully swallow yes, all the way? Yes, it felt and like that. Trying to like, dude, dude, it felt sucks. like that. Uh, uh, just a consistent feeling for the entire night last night. Hey, Tommy, it's the edging of swallowing. Yeah, my granddad swallowed a bee. Really? Really? Yes. What happened to him? I actually know it was a wasp. Oh, stung all of his throat. Did it that really? This is the badassery. Yeah. Of it. Wait, was it on purpose or not? I guess I just don't know why accident. I thought it was on. Oh. Dude. It's not the sort of thing people do on purpose. No, Ed. no, I don't think. I don't know what the culture is over there. We don't swallow wasps. Oi, bro, if you want to go under the pub and get some bee swallows in. 
No, that I don't That's think. That's so offensive. <laughs> me and me boys walked down to London Centre and swallowed a couple of wasps. The Queen didn't die for this. It was a crazy, I didn't crazy we bloke in night, mate. Tommy, you, since you brought it up, I wasn't going to be the person who brought it up, but isn't that crazy? She's dead. She, di- she did perish. The second I left. It's yeah. almost like my aura was, you know, protecting the nation. Yeah, man. And then how, do you, how did you feel? Did you feel, like, guilty about that? I felt guilty. Yeah. You know, how many likes we both got. <sighs> Fuck. <this laughs> yeah, you so, so many, you yeah. <laughs> know. Do you ever wonder if the queen ever saw your tweet, Slut? No. She's dead. She, was, she, she, I made them after she died. You know? yeah. No, no. I mean, like, the ones about her husband. Her dear husband. Yeah, do you think, do you think one of the royal magistrates was like, excuse me, there's this man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how this man close, who's, He's being how, quite <laughs> rude. <laughs> how close to someone, like, to someone interacting with the, the queen do you think your tweets got? Because you might have gotten to someone who works in the royal palace. I wish palace. you were on the British news. That would have been so funny. It would have been so funny. But then also, I don't want people to come for me. You know, I I'm, I feel lucky that I haven't gotten a knock on my door from the egregious shit I've said about predicting deaths of, uh, of royal family people members. People are already coming for you, but you're strapped. You don't really I seem am. to have much of a yeah. problem with predicting any death, Caesar. You predicted my death already. Yeah, October 23rd, 2025. 2025, yeah, no, I'm aware. I'm deeply aware of the date. It's on, I've got a calendar reaching out all the way to there. Yeah. When am I going to die? I don't know when you're going to die, man. I want to add it to my G-Cal. <laughs> you're gonna, you got an appointment that day? All no, right, well, I'm we not. can make an appointment. Hold on, let me just stare at the camera real quick. I got to psychoanalyze you. I feel like you should less give him a date and more a cryptic riddle of like various symbols or signs that he could see in a day that would indicate he's about to die. Mm. I'd probably prefer that. Like, you know how, uh, you know, he sees like an eagle carrying a, carrying a snake in its claws or whatever that <laughs> Mexico thing is. <sighs> no, nah, Ted, I, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to give him a riddle. I'm just going to I'm just going to predict it, dude. You're going to predict the date. Tommy yeah. is looking deeply into the camera right now with uh when when Slash checking the wind speed even though he's inside. <laughs> I don't I have no idea what he's doing. Just let him go through his process, Tommy. Sorry, sorry. Tommy, you're from the UK. You've watched Sherlock. He's entering into his mind palace right now. This is what his mind palace... And I know it look, might not look like much, but this is his it mind palace. It doesn't look like much, yeah. Well, this is like, you know, you've got Amer- you've got British Sherlock. This is American Sherlock, okay? This is what it looks okay, like. Okay, he just whistles and makes shitting noises and bends. Well, no, I mean, he's... he's <laughs> <getting inspired. laughs> oh, no, this is lovely. That slap just kissed the tiger. Tommy, That's incredibly disrespectful. I have yep. an extremely important message for you. Oh god, here we go. Oh, when am I gonna die? And you know, to do it, to do it, I need to bring out the second microphone. This is the is it, audio listeners prepare yourself? <laughs> prepare yourself, audio listeners, please. I, oh, I didn't even know you had two. Of both of my ears feel so good. <laughs> stop, stop. Hello, everybody. My name is GB. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're dead on April 17th, 2030. That's all right. Oh, yeah. Man, he's got five years on me. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. Cause of death? Pestilence. Where'd I get that? Honestly, what does that mean? Just honestly, up. Supr- p- potentially accurate prediction for 2030. Yeah. Let's be honest here. Yeah. What is pestilence? Well, um, he streams Tarkov. Just, oh, is that a, is that a guy who streams? Yeah. Um, pestilence, Tommy. You're wondering what pestilence is? Yeah. You ever heard of the locusts? Mm. <laughs> no. We're he talking know, locusts. This dude doesn't baby. know locusts. You ever read the Bible? No. It was something, uh, I don't know, some, some, some prince was being a, a shithead. And you look God, like a child right now, Ted, he, just the way that you're like, <laughs> looking. 
I look like a child. You were like. That's rich coming from you. I'm 18. I, I do drugs. He's an adult. That doesn't, He's an that's adult. That's what kind of fact, sick no. drugs are you doing these days, Tommy? Um, 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 alcohol. Wilbur's weed. Really? Whoa! Mm. Wilbur smokes pot? All he does. A weed, a nose, a nose, in air, in air. In the mm -hmm. ear? Mm -hmm. Fuck, man. I didn't even know you could do it like that. Yeah. He does. That's crazy. That's and one, do. and one. Slap. Through the butt. No, no. Yeah. He boofs he it? He does. He boofs it. He fucking boofs it, bro. And he That's loves insane. it. That's insane. Uh, I know. I met your mum, Schlatt. I met your mum. You did. That's true. Did me, my Let's mom. Please, okay. let's right. talk about it. We'll I'm a little bit it. upset about this, by the way, because, you know, I haven't met, I haven't had met Mama Schlatt. I've met Mama Schlatt. Why do you want to meet Mama Schlatt? Can I tell Why you not? about it? Yeah. So yeah. I go in to the Schlatt household. She opens the door and li it, no, I love your mum, but it felt she was like made up. She opened yeah. it and went, you must be starving. <laughs> I'm like, I, I only I can just imagine ate. that the, the, the sideburns were a bit of a, a whiplash too, you know? What? <laughs> Audio listeners, an awkward silence fell between Schlatt and Ted. Tension, a tension, a silence. You're the, a you're the last person who said something. It was between all of us. My mom doesn't have sideburns. She doesn't have jobs. Why would you say that? Because I had this visual in my head that I thought was really funny where the entire Schlatt family has sideburns, including, like, whatever family pets there are as well. That's so fucked up. Why is that fucked Don't up? Don't say shit like that. What? Is that... That's where you draw the line? Yeah. That's where you draw the line. It's fucked yeah. up, Dad. It's fucked up. Fuck preschool looking ass. I guess I'll just go fuck myself then. Yeah, I guess. Should. I guess I'll you just should, go man. fuck myself. Go fuck your mum. Incest boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you met my mom. What? She asked you if you were hungry. <laughs> this story's going great, Tommy. What you met my mom and Ted she's <laughs> enraged. <laughs> You met my mom and she, she asked. don't even know how to so, respond so, to it. I'm not, really I, wasn't, it I wasn't even hungry. And the kind of woman that she is goes, you must be starving. And I go, out of fear, oh, yes, I am. And she sits me down. She goes, please, please take a seat. And she slams down just this huge kernel of corn. Ear like, of corn. Bigger than my ear head. Corn, An man. entire ear of corn. And the funny and now, part, the funny part. It wasn't even, it wasn't even shocked. It wasn't even shocked. It was just, it was just the foot <laughs> wrapped in leaves. In now at this point. that corn comes in. I, I don't know if this is a bit or not. And then Schlatt's father comes over and he picks up the corn and goes, no, you can't, don't do this. And I go, oh, thank God. He knows that I've only just ate. He knows that this is weird. And he just starts peeling the corn. <laughs> you eat it like this, son. And oh, then man. slams it down. And I'm like, and so out of, out of the kindness of my heart and the unwillingness of my tummy, I chow down on this corn and I eat it and I eat all the chicken. And I'm a good boy. I'm respectful. I would never, ever offend you. So I eat all the corn. Wait, I eat this is, all of it. was it cooked? It wasn't cooked. I guess you it was cooked. It? it was cooked. I don't know. I don't know at this it point. Was I, all I knew was corn. Yes, it was fucking cooked. So how was it? So you're telling me that your parents, you, they don't peel, they don't shuck it? Was it cooked? Was it cooked? They don't it shuck was it before cooked. they cook it? You put it, was, it on the grill. It, it was, was you put it on the grill. Okay. No, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. He cooked it on the grill I with the leaves around I understand. it. I understand. I've done that before. So, I, yeah. you know, I, 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 I got confused for a second. Continue. My father also has, uh, he's got tools for corn. We're a big corn family. Tommy, I'm sure you saw... You know, once he once he pulled back all the leaves to reveal the, the ear, there's a little we have a little like tray, a little yellow tray that looks like corn, like a little plastic shell that you pour melted butter in and you mm. put the ear of corn onto it and then you twist it around so it gets c covered in butter and pepper and all this nice yeah. stuff. How did you like yeah. it, Tommy? Wasn't it good? I was so full. <laughs> was that your first time having corn? So I eat I, now I eat the leg of corn. Ear. I Leg? eat it. I eat it. Ear. Mrs. Schlatt was very nice. And then Schlatt, 
who knows? And it's we're on the dinner table, and Schlatt's parents are sat to the right of me. Schlatt's sat opposite, and Schlatt immediately, once we're comfortable, brings up nine eleven. That's not. I don't think that's how it happened. I don't think that's how it happened. How did it happen? I don't know. I don't know. We, they were probably a you know feeling sorry for you because I don't know how queen. it happened, but surely it, it couldn't have been that up. way. <laughs> no, it, not by me. And they're talking about it very, you know, respectfully and sorrowfully. Because they're New Yorkers. There. They remember well, it. You're a New Yorker, Schlatt. And they're talking about it. And from across the table, Schlatt is staring at me dead in the eyes like this. And his parents can't see him. Trying to get me to laugh. Now, how would it look <laughs> if the British boy they just cooked a meal for burst out <laughs> laughing while they're incredibly serious? And it was the, and I mean, fuck, was it the you, the biggest you laugh, you lose I've ever played in my life? <laughs> because they were seriously yes. talking about this tragedy. And Schlatt, you were ruining it by staring at... We have a we have a rich family history when it comes to nine eleven. My my <laughs> uncle my uncle was a first responder. You know, and, and I'm sure you, you were make, getting that. Why would you try and make me laugh? I wasn't trying to make you laugh. Yeah, you were. It would have been funny if you did. <laughs> it it would have been. been it would have been really. It would have been so funny. <laughs> it would have been terrible. They would never have like let me in again. Well, Tommy, listen. This whole thing started because on the ride to the house. You decided to eat all, like your entire meal was was fucking mini M and M's. Mini M and M's. And then you then you you're like you didn't even answer me whether or not the corn was good. It was good. I was full of M and M's, like a lot of mini M and M's. Oh, and Schlapp played me this shit song by Leonard Skinyard that goes on for like two hours. One it Schlapp, the Leonard Skinyard. Oh Leonard yeah, Skinyard. Freebird. It Le was Leonard so Skinner. bad, so bad. He didn't oh. like Freebird. I played Freebird. He was no before. Bruce Springsteen. No Bruce Springsteen. All right, Bruce has he's just dropped a new song. It's very good, dude. He, do like, I love you? Indeed, I do. Oh my God, can you the believe that they, that dude is like? How old is he? He's like he's seven, still eight. got it. He's the he's baddest seven. old man in all. And also, this whole drunk driving thing you go on about. You got he got a had DWI had, and an he'd had park one recently. shot. He was on his motorbike. He didn't mean to. It was fine. He didn't mean to. He didn't. Mean, he's Bruce. He's the boss. He can't. To be fair, if I was a cop, and and I pulled over Bruce Springsteen, especially if you're a New Jersey cop, yeah, a New Jersey cop, I'd I'd be like, they wouldn't dare. Yep. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> he's Bruce. He can do what he wants. You do. Like you do reach a certain level of fame where you can just do what you want. Do what you want. What level do you think that is? Where people would get upset with the the people who prosecute, like that cop could have been murdered, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think I think it's just a it's like a mutual thing at this point, where if Bruce fans found out that this cop fucking booked Bruce, he'd be in for a world of pain. The Bruce stands. Yeah, Bruce, I'm a Bruce stan. Who do we think? Is there anyone like that's not from the fucking? Because I, I feel like that's a thing with a lot of like older artists and famous people. You know, you've got it's it's mostly it's got to be mostly like artists, like musicians or something. But is there yeah. anyone like that now? What about painters? That you could apply that to Mr. Beast. You think that people would go to war for him? I like, think Mr. Beast should be able to kill people. I think <laughs> Mr. Beast should be able to murder a couple people a year if it makes for good content. Like like little mini bite sized Squid Games. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if if uh, I could probably be down for that, it couldn't be one of those. Imagine if you're one of the contestants who gets murdered by Mr. Beast or Chandler for a, an episode, and then Mr. Beast is like, "I'm not going to post this video. This is a lame video." Imagine if you die for that, <laughs> <laughs> and then Lud and then Ludwig comes and he gets the video from him. Mm -hmm. When is Mr. Beast going to kill someone? I think he should be able to. I think he should be able to. I'm going to forgive him immediately when he does. Everybody knows, knows that when he, I say, here's what I, I'll say, I'm, I'm about, about to say some shit on this podcast. You know, there's still some states that, uh, you know, death row, that's still a thing. Um, so an easy way that Mr. Beast could make this a thing is just take the death row people and then that's how they go. Mr. Beast challenge <laughs> for your life. That's fucked up. <laughs> 
all the Mr. Beast contestants are just nonsense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it'd be crazy. They'd just be Do like, you want to see? No. I'm I got the most, well, I got the most terrible people from this Texas this. prison and challenged them to run through a room full of spikes from Star Wars. Where is Tommy going? What, I don't know. What, did just, he, what uh, just happened? He left to get something, I think. Oh, okay. Do you know what this bag is? Is that Deliveroo? Oh. Did you get did you get some food delivered? First of all, that? imagine having your entire family killed and then seeing the killer in a Mr. Beast video. That was a thought I had. Two. That's a fair point. Oh, Jesus Christ. How come I don't get one of those? Yeah, I didn't I haven't gotten a single a single gram of, of beast chocolate, of beastable. To be fair though, guess what I do have? Rated OK by Tom Simons. Rated OK. Oh, but you you got something even bigger from this. I've got don't something you? even cooler from Jimmy. I call him Jimmy now. We're on that. We're on that. Uh, you know, first name basis. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> Look at that. I've got a 10 million play button from Mr. Beast. I don't know which one it is though. Open Have you that. Opened it up yet? I haven't opened it. No. Open it. No. Why would I? I'm not going to open it yet. Why? How do you know what's in there then? I I don't I don't I haven't opened it yet. What if it's just a fucking like a boxing glove on a spring? It could be, but I'm not going to open it awesome. yet because I have a big video planned around it. Oh okay. Yeah. I think this has got moldy. Ew. Well, how long have you had it for? Like months. Does chocolate get moldy? Yeah. Um, uh, it it gets like white. It has like gets like this like whiteness to it. I don't know if that's mold or if it's just no, it getting it's, mold. It's it's got a. Chocolate has a pretty high shelf life, right? I think it does. That oh, that's is fucked that up. That's fucked up. I do. Isn't that like nougat? Nougat. This is the. <laughs> this is the almond nougat? one. Nougat. Some bad chocolate. Wait, right that's there, baby. that's the that's the almond one. The almond flavor. Oh, okay. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I do mm -hmm. think the chocolate can get bad though. There was a couple Halloweens where I'd get, I was really excited because I got the full, you know, the full chocolate bars, you know, the, yeah. you know I thought yeah. the people, <clears throat> I thought that, you know, these, these neighbors were fucking rolling. Um, but then, you know, when you do the haul at the end, I'm opening up this Hershey's chocolate bar and I see that the whole chocolate bar is like white <laughs> audio listeners. Love you to death. Tommy's being an absolute fucking pig. Um, so there's shit that can happen to chocolate. Yeah, I got. I remember a couple Halloweens ago, I got the candy with razors in it. What? How did it taste? Sharp. <laughs> had a. It had a bit of a. It had a bit of a kick to it. Yeah, it? you know your your parents would always warn you, and everyone everyone in your life would always warn you about razors being snuck into candy you did not get razors in i candy. got razors in my candy one no, time yeah didn't. i did yeah i did sliced How my mouth right open oh yeah <laughs> no, i was 19. what was it gillette who goes trick-or-treating at 19. you're too old so Fuck you're trick-or-treating at 19. that's probably why they gave you the razors my they were like who the age fuck is this adult man i need to my get mum this said person I'd off be my too lawn. big to trick-or-treat at age 12 and could i scare the old people and just stop me you, your mother said, "Don't trick or treat no more." When well, no, I hit twelve, when you hit twelve. That's that's so sad. That is incredibly sad. You must have grown well, up very sad. When did we stop trick or treating? When what was the age? I still trick or treat to this day. I walk around. I don't. I don't get a it's costume just anymore. It's all tricks, though. It's all I tricks. <laughs> fucking firebombing cars and I go, shit on Halloween. I go late. <laughs> I go late at night when yeah. you know. And my goal is to just. Get the, the sloppy seconds of all the... You, know, you don't even go on Halloween. No, no, no. And you well, also you use a gun. I'll go at like 2 a.m., you know, at the in the dead of night, and my costume will always be the same black ball of clava. And uh, sometimes I'll get lucky where they'll leave the house, like they'll leave a bowl out. You know how they leave the bowl out sometimes? Because sometimes they're going trick-or-treating, and then, mm -hmm. you know, they're just like, oh. they have a little printed out piece of paper that says, oh, please just take one. You take one. You know, when you go at 2 a.m., no one else is there. No one cares. You just take the rest of it, you know? Right. I just got I a lucky one. Here. Yeah, I got I a go lucky one. I go to London. Oh. I go to Crawley with oh. a knife. Hmm. I say, trick or treat. Whatever they say, I go, hand me your phone. Hmm. They say no. I point my knife at them. 
I say now I spill I spill their guts. Spill their guts? I spill their guts. You spill their guts. And then when they complain, I go, here. Yeah. <laughs> shh, shh. Free. They have a Mr. And I Beast hand them, I hand them the Mr. Beast bar. <laughs> have a feast and I take their organs. Yeah, they have a, a feastable on me. <laughs> and then I take their phone. And then I, and then I bite into the, I bite into their liver that I've just taken. Mm, and I go, mm, yeah. that's my feastable, isn't it? <laughs> you like dangle it as they're as yeah. laying down, organs trailing behind them, mm. trying to get home. They're shouting for their mother. You just dangle the feastable. You're like, you want a little feastable? Come on. Come on, like them pigs that you ride in Minecraft. <laughs> my favorite thing to do on Halloween is to dress up as the Grim Reaper and pay a visit to my local uh, elderly homes. Oh. Oh. I thought you'd dress up like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like you are right now. Ted, I don't think you look idiotic, all right? I think you look intentional. Intentionally uh, idiotic? Is that where inte- you're going? Intentionally, you know. I think you hey, look man. idiotic, yeah. Hey, man. Ted, that's it. I'm going to say it. I have an STD. What? You didn't need to say that. I have I'll had... tell you that. That's the first <laughs> thing you didn't... You <laughs> could have been... One thing you didn't need to say. We could have gone through um, the entire podcast that you saying that shit. <laughs> I have had so Which much one? intercourse without contraception. Okay. Well, uh, wow. You just keep telling us. Why? And because of that, I've gained an STD debuff. Okay. Yeah. What's the debuff? What? Like what? what I don't know. I haven't been to the doctor. What are you feeling? Because I'm on this podcast speed? instead. Yeah. Yeah. Slower speed. Slower reflexes. Yeah. Looting. Dick fell off. <laughs> Looting. Yeah. Yeah. He's just dead. <laughs> Question for you. I've had this for a little while. Yeah. If you could have unlimited bacon or video games or video games and an, and a bacon. What would you have picked? Interesting. I don't really understand the wording of what you're saying, though. It seems it seems familiar, but it almost doesn't seem quite. If you want bacon, right. this is interesting. This is my joke. If you want bacon or video games, pick bacon or video games. Bacon or video games. Oh. Pick. Mm. This one seems easy. Pick. This is easy Ted, to me. Ted, Ted first. Ted first. Pick one. Mm. Bacon or video game. They both have their own charms. Is the thing, you know? <laughs> but they also have their similarities. Two of they both have the grease in different scenarios. The gamer what? grease from playing the video games. The grease off the pan from the bacon. Um, and then in other ways, you know, bacon is somewhat fun. I mean, you flip it on the pan. It is sort of a game in its own way. But then with video games, you have this entire variety of stuff. But does that now in- exclude video games about bacon? I'm not sure. Um, so it is really a tough and ultimately philosophical question that I'm trying to break down here. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do I need to survive? Slap, pick, I mean, bacon or video games? Video games. Shoes. Fail. Fail? Ted, what pick, do you mean bacon fail? Bacon or video games? Bacon. I'd probably choose bacon. Success. Name, okay, name one thing you can't defeat with bacon sword. Skyrim. <laughs> True. Maybe That's if what you I was, modded in bacon sword. I thought of this earlier. When, when you just, speaking of Skyrim, when you described you walking into where Mr. Beast was when you entered the Mall of America in New Jersey, I imagine that first Jarl you meet in White Run as he's sitting on that throne and he's going like this, and he's got that certain certain hand movement going on there. Have you played Skyrim, Tommy? I have. I was thinking that Mr. Beast area was like I was in some NPC shit. Like midway through, I got recognized by this girl in like Rambu costume, like Rambu merch, and her mate. And I looked at them and was like, "Do you like?" Am I going crazy here? And they were like, no, no, this is the weirdest possible thing. Like, it was so... Sorry, you've just suddenly made it come back to me. Yeah, because I feel like I wanted to talk more about that, and we kind of moved on from it. It was just like an... It was so weird and, like, unreal. And I remember looking at them and being like... I was like, this is weird, right? And they were like, no, this is weird. And then I turned around with Carl and Sapnap, 
and got a cheer from the thousands of people that were there and then turned back. It was it was like some weird mate i didn't yeah what was oh. the like had you seen anything like that was before awesome. ever like because you most of your growth and whatever was you know covid stuff so it's like generally like a bit at how... vidcon and twitchcon but that was so like un i didn't you know prepare for it in my head that there's going to be yeah. like crowds so that was why it was pretty weird <sighs> That must have been crazy. How much like security did they have? Like, what was the what was the whole detail? They had like one there? guy with me. It was <laughs> just bad. one it guy was, for the whole well, no, crowd. It, it was good for everyone else, but like for me, but he was really strong. So like you knew that he could take care <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, but guys, don't serious. worry. He had the bacon sword. <laughs> he had the bacon sword in his back pocket, and he was ready to rock. Well, that's fucking crazy. I mean, do you do you ever wish in your journey that like you would get to the size? that you draw a crowd like that or is that too much for you is that is that beyond what you think is reasonable um yeah it's all cool and reasonable i just i, I don't really know where it's going or where it has gone i'm just enjoying it sure well i mean it's it's sort of a i guess God, a more a better bacon. reassessing of the question i'm asking is like you know it it's good you know it's good to have an audience but i feel like at a there are certain like levels that people generally can be comfortable with. Like some people are more comfortable with having like a, like a niche audience of people and that's where it stays. Or like some people like Mr. Beast, for instance, are comfortable with it being as big as it could be possible and there being no ceiling on that. So I was wondering, you know, just how you've experienced things. How do you it, like, are you, you, you're not sure. And it's like, it could be, I mean, it's kind of like, I've never really thought about it like what I'm comfortable with. I've just known I'm kind of really happy with what it, it like. I'm always surprised by. I remember a few years ago, like I never would have thought that vods would have got like that many views. Like it just didn't strike me as a thing that like millions of people will watch. So I'm like surprised and happy. But I'm you know I just really love making stuff and I really love it like being good and sort of mm. changing and enjoying it. It's not for me like I want sort of less or more people watching i'm just always like like i kind of know who my audience is now and i think they know me and now it's just about keeping making stuff for them and you know yeah. surprising them and having fun so i've i've you know with this whole new york thing that you were doing you know i feel like that this was a big sort of challenge that you were doing and it wasn't even on your main channel this was on this was on mm. your your tom simon's channel um and i think what you've been doing with the that sort of like live channel, IRL channel, I think you would call it. I think it's, I think it's, it's very cool because you're doing a different set of content. Is that like, do you, is there an area that you want to focus your stuff more? Like, do you see yourself moving towards more IRL stuff in the future? Or like, I mean, you were saying after this experience that you were like gassed and like you are more comfortable with doing this stuff in your office, but like, it, it kind I don't of know, feels like. I really love my IRL stuff as well. But for me, it's kind of like two separate audiences. Like I know my parents will love watching my IRL stuff, but would never right. watch a Minecraft video. But it's yeah. also kind of two different like skill sets. Like I, um, you know, like I've done Minecraft videos for like five years. Like I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm really like into it and stuff. IRL videos have only done for like a year and I'm like still figuring out different things and what I like and trying new things. Right. So it feels like I'm like level 80 Minecraft videos, but like level 20 IRL, everything I... Sorry, I'm a child. But uh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> level 20 video IRL game. videos. So for me, it's like still just, yeah, sort of two different ones. That's kind of how I view it. And I guess it's just what I like spend my time on. But I love making both. You know, I don't view it as like, I almost view it as two sort of separate things, but yeah. not really. It's, it's quite confusing. It's, it's cool because the last time that we had you on this podcast, I don't think that you had even created the IRL channel. Yet yeah, I had like point. one I vlog. remember... On this podcast, we actually talked to you, like you talked to us about how that was something that you were planning on doing. And you were like, oh, I got this idea of, oh, I want to do like some IRL stuff. I've got this, uh, all these plans and all that. And then it's it's crazy that like it's been it's so weird. Long you can like then. see it now and it's out. Right. Exactly. What's the, what's the, what's the two year plan? Yeah. That's what I was going to, that's how I was kind of like it. Gonna uh, end this well, ultimately, Shai, it's about money, isn't it? It's about real it estate. Is. It's, it's about, about you know, being able to look down at people and see all of those who make laughs. Yeah. I see. I see our conversation. And laugh, really, you, you took our conversation to heart. Oh yeah, I. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the poor. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah. So what do you what do you think about the okay, This is 
this is going to be the title, Tommy's mm. Opinion on Poor People Now That He's Rich. So what was, what was that going to be? I absolutely hate them, all right? Okay. I, Why? Why do you hate them? What makes them different than you, and what makes you better? Specifically, say the specific things. And Schlack can agree put, with me on this one. Don't rope me into this. <laughs> well, don't <laughs> don't you worry, Schlatt. It's his words. Don't you worry. Me it's and Schlatt, you know... Okay. We sort of have this sort of... We're level 90 brain. Is this about to turn into Don't something? Fuck, dude. <laughs> we have enchanted brain. We have power we have two brain. Bra- we have power two brain. Poor mm-hmm. have bane of arthropod brain, all right? Worse enchantment to get on, on that brain, Worse enchantment dude. to get on brain. And, and if you think about it, Shalad, that's a really bad enchantment to get on your dick. What does that do? Give your fucking... Like, what is there? Spiders coming out of your cock or something? Not My good. brain, Anyways. fortune two. Your Fortune brain, two. your brain, knock back. <laughs> <laughs> At any given moment, they're just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> like the so that's my two-year plan. Mm. Yeah, what is it? I mean, what are you doing with Tommy in it? What are oh, you doing with Tom Simons? Um, Anything else in the works? I don't know. I really like the about? the live show stuff. I really, really like that. I've got uh, a channel I'm working on that's going to... Oh, I've got my sort of weekly slap channel I'll, I'll do in the next oh. few months. I've got my uh, fucking. I've got this one big channel thing that I won't talk about, but should let you know about. That's going to mm. happen in the next sort of early next year. That'll be like sick. Um, uh, I like the live show stuff. Just did me book. That's. I just I don't know. I just keep making shit and then seeing what I like afterwards, and then go and do more of that. Oh yeah, I like just so, making videos and shit. And so a lot of nebulous plans, but ultimately. Tommy is going to be doing more cool stuff and running around like he always does. Level five book right now. But mm. is the goal to, are, are you like in Skyrim? Let me put it in video game terms for you. Yeah, he's Thank been you. using a for lot us, of It would not analogies. make sense if you didn't do that. And create a character, create a class, Call of Duty, eight, eight, 10 point system per class. Are you maxing out one stat? This, are you maxing out one stat? Mm. Like Minecraft video level okay, okay, 150? Okay. I want to, this year, the next few months, for the next few months, really not much. I'm going to do a few stat points for the book. The mm. book, that would be cool. I get a lot of points on that. I'll do a few points on... Um, that'll, I'll get a few levels from doing that. I'm going to do some a few more points on vlogs, streaming, and um, YouTube. Like, I'll get some levels on there. Mm. But yeah, just doing that, I think, for this year. And then next year, I'll... Start some new categories. Next year, there's a whole other trait that's being leveled. Mm. Whole another vertical for Tommy in it. This is big. Yeah. Whole another vertical. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we're all ga- a little gassed right now. Well, so, Chucklers, thank hope you you've so been much, laughing. Tommy. Though. Hope you've been giggling. Yeah. Hope you've been goofing, gaffing, chortling. No, I have been Some chortling. might say. No, but, 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 uh, but, 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 not too much. Not too much. Not too much, or you'll, you know. You might I'm gonna go eat a some, gasket. Some of my feastables. Yeah, oh. eat your feastables. That's all Tommy eats is his sustenance now. But oh, wow. thanks so much, Tommy, sick. for coming on again. Hope You're you welcome. enjoyed yourself. And uh I did, sorry, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me, Ted. This is awesome. Yeah. Audio um, listeners, love you to death. Love you. Audio listeners and video seers, yeah, you're all right. You're yeah, all right. right. That's all right. we got to say. I mean, you, you yeah. know, you're there. Yeah. You're doing your thing. I mean, yeah, well, you know, maybe, whatever. Yeah, Bye. Whatever. Bye, video seers. Bye. Bye.